Hey there viewers, how's it going? I hope you all had a great week last week and a healthy week, stayed safe. These are the angel cards for this week, which is October 28th, taking us into November the 4th, which takes us into a new month, but still the last month in theory. Some people believe it's the changeover of the 21st of December when we move into the summer solstice here in the Southern Hemisphere. But for now we remain in spring in the Southern Hemisphere and you guys in the Northern Hemisphere remain in autumn. And those two seasons have beautiful gifts that they offer up themselves. Spring's quite a wild, turbulent time when we find our passions going out, you know, after the calm and quiet of winter and hibernation, we're coming out again with quite wild energies. And we notice that even in the weather, you can get a beautiful spring, calm, sunny day. And then the next day, you'll get a polar blast of wind and sleet and hail, and you'll think, gosh, are we back in winter? So it's, it's a season of constant change with lots of strong energy patterns that are delivered through it. And you can see that too in the whole birth of life that comes in with spring. All the new babies everywhere, there's excitement in the air, there's, there's just energy, we trumpet in energy. And in the Northern Hemisphere, you're still in your autumn, and autumn's quite the opposite. It's a time of more contemplation and appreciation of the summer that's just been, and the gifts and the bounty that you harvest. It's almost a time of sitting back and and looking around and going, yeah, that was good, I, I feel good, I'm all toasty and warm from a lovely summer and we've got the harvest to be thankful for. So we are still in those two current energies at the moment. And we'll look at the cards for this week now. The first one on the left here is have confidence. This card is saying to you, if, if any of you have got issues about a project or something that you've got on your mind and you're thinking, gosh, is it the right thing to do? Am I going in the right direction? Just take a little bit of stock and have some faith in yourself and also confidence that you are being surrounded by eternal helpers in the universe. And again, as I said last week, you can always ask for um, guidance and help and protection from the angelic beings and the ascended masters from the universal forces, from creator, God, whichever way you want to call it, you are never alone. And having confidence doesn't mean to say that you have to be totally confident in yourself about what it is that you're going to do or the direction you're taking. Just have confidence that it is going to be the right place and the right direction and that the universe will help you through it. And don't forget to ask for that help. Now the next card, the child card, this is a, uh, it looks so placid and calm and serene with that beautiful angel and the little baby sitting on her lap, but the, the child card is a little bit like spring. It can denote a lot of different energies and can mean so many different things for people. It's a more difficult card to interpret. In the background, we see the waves in the ocean and they're quite turbulent and roaring in, and I think that is how we can look at new life as well. This card can signify your family is going to increase. So for people out there who perhaps are thinking of trying for a child, it could very well be a time that could happen for you. As well, it can also be a message for people to think more about their inner child. And that came out last week in the cards where it said we needed to play a little bit more and have a bit more gaiety and spontaneity in our lives. Well, the child card is a similar message. It says be back again as a child does. There's just that special time in your life when you're a child and you have that wonderful innocence and happiness and you see life through different eyes. You're not worried the same. You don't have the same fears. Life is quite wonderful and you can laugh spontaneously and just enjoy. People don't have prejudices or, or hates. And sometimes that card is purely a message about that. Come back again and just rethink the, the simplisticness of life and enjoy it from that perspective. There is another message in there. It's also for people who just enjoy spending time around children. It's saying you do feel great love and compassion and you're happy when you're around children and that's a very important part of your being. So it can often say if you're thinking of going into teaching or childminding or counselling with children, or just being around your own children or grandchildren, it's good for your soul. As well, for anyone who may have lost a child, um, either during the pregnancies and as in a miscarriage, or lost a little one soon after 
birth or in their infancy, this can be a message from Spirit just letting you know that they are there and that they never leave. Spirit tends to keep an eye on us all the time and the little children, they, they do watch over. The last card, Energy Work, it's a beautiful card to look at with a really amazing glowing angel with the gold wings. It's suggesting that perhaps there's a blockage. The energy work often indicates you're blocked somehow. Now this can be creative block too. So if somebody, if you are having a project that you're trying, then you can um, open up in various ways. You can go and get massages or have some Reiki healing. You might need some physiotherapy to unblock physical portions in your body. If you've got a stiff neck or a sore back, that might need treatment and looking into. The energy work card just is saying that, you, that the energies in your body aren't quite flowing the way they should and blockages are, are not particularly good for us on all levels whether it be physiological or psychological. So that's the reading for this week everyone. I hope you've enjoyed that and thank you for tuning in. I hope you all have a wonderful week taking us up into November and enjoy your Halloween celebrations and take care, stay safe everyone. Many blessings.